All right, in Betaflight 4.3, it is faster and easier to set up your quad with presets. But when it comes to VTX tables and VTX presets, what if your VTX isn't listed here? How do you figure out which preset to apply? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to figure that out in less than five minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is wire up our VTX to our flight controller. And I have that all wired up here. And you can see this is a TBS Smart Audio VTX. And of course, in my peripherals tab, I'm gonna go ahead and pick which type of VTX this is. You would see this on the box or on the instructions uh, for where you're ordering it, what kind of Smart Audio it's using. And it's primarily gonna be IRC Tramp or it's gonna be TBS Smart Audio. Obviously, if it's IRC Tramp, you could just set this and then just pick any of the presets that are for IRC Tramp and you should be good to go. If it's TBS Smart Audio, it's a little bit more tricky because there's different versions of that. We're gonna show you here in a second. So I have this all wired up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that in my peripherals. I already have it set, but you would do that and then hit save and reboot. From there, we're going to plug in our flight controllers. You can see I have it here and I'm connected to it, of course, already. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a battery. And of course, props off. And that is gonna boot this up and then take a look right here on this side. And you will see that switch to, to show which smart audio version you need here. At that point, just go over to your presets bring up your VTX presets. You'd be looking to make sure any of the presets you're looking to apply here have the 2.0. So you can see this one has 2.0, that one has 2.0. This one's 2.1, so that is not for you. This one right here has 2.1, again, not for you. And really you would start with just applying any of the 2.0 presets. As I talked about before, if it's a uh, IRC tramp uh, VTX or the communication protocol, you'd go ahead and pick this one down here and that should get you set up for the IRC tramp. At this point, mileage may vary a little bit. You can see down here on our power levels, we have four power levels that are set up as default for TBS Smart Audio 2.0. And those are 25, 200, 500, and 800 milliwatts. In either case, the values that the flight controller is sending for this protocol specifically is zero, one, two, and three for those different power levels. And those just correspond to these different power levels as prescribed by the manufacturer. So you can see in this example, if you look at a race day quads Mach 3 VTX, we don't have the exact same power levels. We have 200, 600, and 1000. So if we go back over here, instead of 500, we would put 600 here and then over here at 1000. But oh, we can't enter 1000. So we're just going to go ahead and put 1W standing for one watt. Now, if you selected a 2.1 preset, your power levels down here are gonna look a little bit different. You can see the, the values are not zero, one, two, and three, as the flight controller is gonna to send to the VTX. It's more this 14, 20, 26, like where are these numbers coming from? Well, what these are is the DB levels, the decibel levels of this milliwatt uh, setting here. So you can see uh, 25 milliwatts is 14 DB, uh, 100 is 20, 400 is 26, so on and so forth. And we can confirm the same just by going to any milliwatt to dB thing. You just search it on Google and you can see here 25 milliwatts is 13.97, rounded up to 14. So in that case, um, now there is another anomaly here. This 36 is not one watt. This is actually four watts, uh, 36 in dB range. So uh, this is just basically like the max power setting. So usually the last one is always 36 and then it's whatever is the max setting uh, that your VTX has. Again, you'd look in the product sheet or the page you bought it from to see what that is and then see how many of these you would go. And maybe it only goes up to 400 milliwatts. So in that case, you would just take this down to that setting. Now in the case for the tramp protocol, it's a little simpler here. These things are the same. So the value and then the label, it would just be the same thing. So you go ahead and then type in whatever value or milliwatt ratings you have from the manufacturer side. And then you just put that in there for the values as well. Of course, the last thing we're wanting to do is go ahead and select the band channel and power level we want. So I'm always on the race band. I usually do eight personally, and then the power level Crank her up, baby. So go ahead and set those and then hit your save button there on the lower right. And then the next time you power up your quad with a battery, the flight controller will communicate that to the VTX. And if your goggles are on those banded channel, everything will just be there for you and you'll be off on the races. Well, thanks everybody. If you did find this helpful, I really would appreciate you hitting the like button down there and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.